Alrighty, this is gonna be episode episode 41 of Random Fighter Select. No touch. Uh, first fight we are using right now, fight first fighter we're using right now is Anthony Smith. Anthony Smith. Up. This series has been going on for a long, long time. And this is one of this is gonna be one of the series that will last pretty much for as long as we have the ability to use random fighters in a UFC game. And I'm, I actually think I might continue this series in the new boxing game if we have that option. I think that might be interesting to do like a random fighter series as well to continue it with the with the new boxing game Undisputed. Of course. Oh, 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 oh. oh yes. Caught him clean. Absolutely clean. Another one. Oh shit. If we have an option to pick random fighters in the new Undisputed game, we'll definitely try to do that. Of course, set him down again. I'm always looking for new series to do. New interesting series to, to play that you guys will enjoy. <laughs> Careful now, sir. Early access for Undisputed begins in like four days. That's it. Oh my God. Oh my God. Wow. I caught this man multiple times with that uppercut and he kept falling for it, man. I cannot believe I actually just finished the fight just like that. Oof. Absolutely brutal, man. Brutal. Hey. It happens like that sometimes. Let's keep it pushing. Yes, thank you. We are facing George. Oh, yes. Yes, you get a bow for that, sir. You get a bow for that. Starting things off with that beautiful GSP combo. That beautiful Superman jab into a rear leg kick. Yes. That's a man of culture right there. That is a man of culture. Sorry. I love when players do that. See, now I'm going to start checking it though. But nah, I really love when players embody the fighter. or when they, At least when they try to. I'm not saying you got to role play the fighter completely every single time. But... If you do certain things the fighter already does, you know, it makes things more interesting. It really does. To the body. Stab him a little bit. Let's see what let's see what you got. He shoots, he gets it. Give me a back. <laughs> Whoa. I did not actually think he would let me get that. Very surprising. But hey, we are using Gilbert Burns. We are not going to shy away from grappling. No way. He denies it. Okay. Okay. No. Yeah, I'm going to go backside and see if I can take his back regular from here. Halt. <laughs> chicken. Oh, chicken arms. Oh, chicken wing thing going. Oh, he denied it. Okay. Posture's up. No. Nope. All 
right, posture's up. Let me see if I can drag him back to the ground. Yes, sir. All right, we got his back, both hooks in. See if we can flatten him out. He says no. Let's fake a little bit. We try to do it again. He's not going to give me that. I know he's not going to give me that. Let's fake a few times. No, okay, okay. He's not he's just gonna he's not gonna give it to me at all. That's okay. That's okay. It's very good to camp on that because you don't want to get flattened out at all. That's when the ground and pound starts to starts to really flow, man. It's, it's just not a not a good time. Mm-hmm. Let's get it. Thank you. He's gonna do it again. <laughs> I figured. That's that's the way he loves to uh, initiate his uh, his combos. Mm -mm. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow. Fight number two ends the same exact way. Wow. Damn. Damn. That's something, man. That's something. <laughs> okay. Let's move on. Alrighty, baby. This is going to do it. We're using Anthony Showtime Pettis for this one. And uh, I think I'm going to end it right here. Thank you. We've got a few solid fights. Or well, two solid fights. I did uh, I did one Bruce Lee match that I don't think I'm going to include. Um, I don't think I'm going to include that one just because the dude quit out. I mean, if you guys want me to... Sh well, if, you, if you want me to show you the match, I, I'll gladly show you the match. But I don't think it's it's worth including in here. Um, we were striking with Bruce Lee. I mean, I was striking with Bruce Lee. Uh, he took me down. He took me down because he wanted to grapple. And so I was like, uh, okay, I guess we're going to grapple then. So, well, I started grappling him with Bruce Lee. I pinned him in side control. I, I believe I pinned him in side control and mount. And uh, he quit out the match and sent me a message going, get a life. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck are you talking? What do you mean get a life? Like, bro, you are the one that initiated grappling. You're the one that wanted to grapple. It's, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I always find it very interesting how a player will start off, like, a specific style. Like, you know, maybe they want a brawl. Maybe they want, like, a super aggressive type of fight. But then, once you give them what they want, they run away. They quit out. It's very interesting. Never ceases to amaze me. But yeah, let, let me know in the comments if you guys want to see that fight. I'll I can I can upload it. I just I just don't want any quitters in this one at all. So, um, right off the bat, you guys will probably notice that this man is he's really trying to push the pace, and he's trying to control the center of the octagon, which is always very good. But I need you guys to try to pay attention to like what I am doing right here. Um, even though I'm, I mean, I could, I could refuse to give ground, but I, I'm gonna give ground just so I can show you guys how I would like you to, to fight when you're on the back foot. Um, if you take a look at the end of this fight, whenever it ends, you'll see that my work rate is higher than his, and that's gonna be a very good sign that you're doing the right thing if you're backing up, right? If you're backing up and I'm pushing you. There you go. I knew I was going to drop him right there. If if you're backing up and I'm pushing you and my work rate is higher than yours, you're losing the fight because that means I am hitting you. You don't want that. 
right? You want a situation where even when you're backing up, you're still dangerous. I say this to you guys all the time. You want to make sure you're still hitting them as they're entering the pocket. So you see, like, even though I'm the one that's like, quote unquote, backing up in this fight, I'm still the guy that's more dangerous. I've rocked them a couple times in this round. I've landed way more shots. I've damaged his body a lot. If you take a look at our health, uh, currently you're gonna notice that his is gonna be a lot lower than mine. So even when you're backing up, you wanna make sure that you remain dangerous. The last thing you want is you're backing up, your opponent is hitting you over and over again, and you're not hitting them back. You don't want that. Oh, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad, bro. I didn't, I didn't know you wanted to touch. So you don't want that at all. So you see, even as I'm retreating, I'm making sure every time he enters, he enters my range. I'm attacking him. I'm hitting him. I'm, I'm working his body. I'm working the head. I'm just hitting him every chance I get. There you go. Set him down. You know, some people, a lot of the, the mistake a lot of players make is they, they turn the game into a movement simulator. Into a movement simulator. <laughs> that was four times, bro. That was four times. So yeah, don't don't turn the game into a movement simulator. Like you're not demonstrating skill by showing how well you can move, right? You know, like, oh I can like hold my stick back and and circle all over the place. That's not a demonstration of skill. That's there's nothing. Oh, sh there's nothing difficult about that. You know what I mean? So I know you guys are trying to do what you think you you see fighters doing, but like you back up, they enter the pocket, you hit them. Back up, hit them. Back up, hit them. I mean, look at look at how many shots I'm landing on him. Next up, you're gonna notice. There we go. Now he's starting to back up. You see this? The second mistake you guys make, you don't follow the momentum of the fight. He's backing up now, which tells me he's really hurting. But this is, I'm not gonna let him off the hook now. I'm not gonna keep backing up. Now that I can tell, I can tell he's really hurting. Now I'm gonna go get him. Don't assume one specific role and then never veer from that. Adjust the role you play in a match. Go from aggressor. There we go. Yep, just like that. Just like that. Just like that. See, all that work I did, all that work I did carried me through. You know what I mean? Carried me through. Did a lot of work in round number one, tagging him as he was entering the pocket. And then after a while, he was so damaged that he had to back up. He had to try to back up to, to gain back some health, to, to slow down the attacks. But then I didn't let him off the hook. I stayed right on him, stayed directly on him. And with that, I was able to get him out of there. Just, just a few things to try to implement to your game. I know a lot of you enjoy fighting on the back foot. Just make sure that you remain dangerous even when you're doing that. Don't let your opponent just be the only one tagging you. You don't want that. You don't want that. But yeah, that is going to do it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video as I'm dropping my freaking controller. If you guys did, definitely leave a like on it. And I will see you guys later with a brand new one. As always, stay safe. Peace out. Have a good one.